Welcome to our course on Failure Modes and Effects Analysis, often referred to as FMEA. This is part 1. What is FMEA? In this section, we will cover four key areas. What is FMEA? We'll define FMEA and its role in risk management. Overview of the FMEA process, we'll provide a high-level overview of how FMEA is conducted. Why use FMEA? We'll discuss the benefits of using FMEA in your organization. The history of FMEA, we'll take a look at the origins and evolution of FMEA across different industries. By the end of this section, you will have a foundational understanding of failure modes and effects analysis and its significance in enhancing product and process reliability. Failure modes and effects analysis is a highly structured and systematic method used to identify potential failure modes within a product or process. These failure modes are essentially the various ways in which something can go wrong. Once identified, the FMEA process involves evaluating the effects of these potential failures to understand their impact on the overall system. This evaluation includes determining the severity of the impact, how often these failures are likely to occur, and the ability to detect them before they cause significant issues. By assigning a risk priority number, or RPN, to each potential failure mode, we can prioritize them based on their risk levels. This is done by multiplying the severity, occurrence, and detectability. This allows us to focus our resources and efforts on addressing the most critical issues first. The structured nature of FMEA ensures that no potential failure is overlooked and that all possible effects and causes are thoroughly considered. Additionally, FMEA is not just a one-time activity. It's an ongoing process that should be integrated into the life cycle of a product or process. This means continuously updating and revising the FMEA as new information becomes available or as changes are made to the product or process. By doing so, we can proactively manage risks, improve reliability, and enhance the safety of our products and processes. In summary, FMEA helps us to identify potential problems before they occur, evaluate their possible effects, and implement strategies to mitigate or eliminate these risks, ensuring that we deliver high-quality, reliable, and safe products and processes to our customers. FMEAs are typically done using a structured template to ensure all potential failure modes and their effects are systematically evaluated. The template is used to guide you through each step of the process, from identifying potential failures, prioritizing them based on their risk levels, and setting actions for improvement to reduce the risk. As you can see, the template is divided into several sections. The first part is process step or input. This is used to identify the process step where a failure mode may happen. The next step is failure mode. This section lists potential ways in which a product or process could fail. Following this we have potential failure effects. Here we document the consequences of each failure mode. Next, we have severity. This column rates the severity of the effect on a scale, often from 1 to 10, with 10 being the most severe. Then we consider the potential cause of failure. This identifies the root causes of each failure mode. Occurrence. This rates the likelihood of the failure occurring, again typically on a scale from 1 to 10. We then consider what are the current controls, listing the existing measures in place to detect or prevent the failure. Following this we need to consider detection, this rates how likely the current controls will detect the failure before it occurs. Having captured all of this information we then need to calculate the risk priority number, this is done by multiplying the severity, occurrence, and detection ratings. The RPN helps us prioritize which failures require the most attention. By thoroughly completing each section, you can systematically evaluate and address potential risks and ensure a robust approach to risk management of processes and new product designs. Now you understand what FMEA is, why should you use it? Using FMEA offers several key benefits. Identify potential failures early. By proactively identifying potential failure modes, we can address issues before they result in costly or dangerous problems. Improve product process reliability, FMEA helps enhance the reliability of products and processes by addressing potential failures at the design or process development stage. Risk management, FMEA provides a structured approach to assessing and managing risks, ensuring that the most critical issues are prioritized. 
document and track improvements, the FMEA process creates a documented record of identified risks, actions taken, and improvements made, which can be valuable for future reference and audits. And increase organizational learning, by involving cross-functional teams in the FMEA process, organizations can foster a culture of continuous improvement and shared learning. FMEA is not a new concept and has quite a history of being used for risk management for many years. It is used in a range of industries from automotive to pharmaceutical. The origins of FMEA date back to the 1940s when it was developed by the U.S. military. The aim was to improve the reliability of munitions and equipment during World War II. In 1949, the first formal documentation of FMEA procedures was published as MILP the 1629, establishing a standardized approach to identifying and addressing potential failures. In the 1960s, FMEA was adopted by the aerospace industry, with NASA employing it for the Apollo missions to ensure the reliability and safety of their systems. By the 1970s, the automotive industry, particularly Ford Motor Company, began using FMEA to address quality and reliability issues in their vehicles. The 1980s saw FMEA being integrated into the QS 9000 standard, a quality system requirement for automotive suppliers, which further popularized its use and solidified its importance in the industry. In the 1990s, the International Organization for Standardization ISO, adopted FMEA as part of the ISO 9001 Quality Management System Standards, recognizing its value in ensuring product and process quality. Additionally, the Automotive Industry Action Group, AIAG, published guidelines that further standardized the FMEA approach within the automotive sector, promoting consistency and best practices across the industry. By the 2000s, FMEA had been widely adopted across a variety of sectors beyond automotive and aerospace, including healthcare, manufacturing, and service industries. This widespread adoption highlights the versatility and effectiveness of FMEA in managing risks and improving reliability across different fields. Current trends involve integrating FMEA with Six Sigma and Lean methodologies, enhancing its role in continuous improvement and operational excellence. Thank you for participating in the first part of our FMEA course. In the next section, we will delve into the basic concepts of FMEA providing you with the tools and knowledge to effectively apply this method in your own projects and processes. Stay tuned for part 2, Basic Concepts, where we will explore the practical application of FMEA in more detail.